Hi, this is Jacob L. Thank you for watching this video, Sci-Fi Episode 3, about my concept for a rotorless turbojet engine. This engine is based on a cylinder-shaped chamber, and inside the chamber, the mechanical cycle is just a vortex of air. It's fed by a simple ramjet engine directed around the inside surface of the chamber, and the vortex created inside feeds the inlet pressure for the ramjet engine. Since a ramjet engine is not self-starting, a Gluharf pressure jet is used to start the vortex, and the ramjet sustains it and drives it to full power. This explains the main concept, but does not describe a working engine since there is no inlet or exhaust. This is the first of four engines that I'm going to show you. You can see it's basically a tube with a ring of angled ramjet engines on the inside surface and an inlet stator to direct the incoming air into a spiral. Again, the smaller Gluhar of pressure jet engines are used to start the vortex, and once the vortex is started, that feeds inlet pressure for the ramjets so they can start and drive it at full thrust. The angled ramjets are angled so that they can drive both the spiraling airflow and create the vortex to keep the cycle running and create the thrust out the rear of the engine. You can see that a column of high-speed rotating air like a tornado running through the length of the engine is acting as both turbine and compressor. Arranged this way, this engine concept is a variation of the axial flow turbojet engine, but it's much simpler and doesn't require precision balanced parts. An outlet flow straightening stator is also needed. A metal pipe with water pumped through it can sit behind the ramjet ring and absorb heat. The heated water turns to steam to help feed the vortex and produce more thrust from the same amount of combustible fuel while also helping the engine run cooler. Thrust can be increased by adding an afterburner at the back, which is basically just a nozzle that has fuel injection and a flame holder area to increase the heat and pressure of the exhaust gases. This concept can also be used for the vortex thruster, which is a Kawanda effect based propulsion mechanism for V2L aircraft invented by Dr. Mikhail Goldstick, and I've only adapted it to this rotorless concept. It's based on a truncated hyperbolic cone with the pressure jet and ramjet combo at the base. Pressure jet starts the vortex, and the angled ramjet sustains it and drives it to full power. The air spirals up and over the rim of the engine, which is how it creates lift. An inlet flow separating cone in the center helps separate the inlet vortex and the outflowing vortex that uh, Tim Ventura described in his experiments with the vortex thruster concept using an electric driven system. I'll describe the last two of the four engines that I came up with for this more quickly. The one on the left is the basic design. It's the flat circular main concept drawing with an inlet added that feeds fresh air to the center and an outlet that takes hot fast moving air from the edge. The second concept on the right is a torus-shaped engine for VTOL aircraft. It's like the design on the left, but extruded in a torus with the thrust directed down around the edge. A toroidal vortex fills the inside space. You can see one example of how I would think that could be used. If you have any thoughts on this or related topics, please share them in the comments. I would love to discuss it with you, but please be polite. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.